In this experiment, we are going to calibrate a given armature using a potentiometer circuit. Calibration means estimating the error in a meter. Or in other words, we want to evaluate what is the extent of accuracy in a given ammeter. So the aim of this experiment is to calibrate this given ammeter. When we send a current through this circuit, the ammeter will show the current. So suppose if this ammeter is showing a reading 0.1 ampere, what we want to find out is, we will exactly evaluate or find out what is the exact value of current that is flowing with the help of this potentiometer circuit. So that we can estimate what is the error in the reading 0.1 as shown in the ammeter. Then we will repeat the experiment by making the ammeter read 0.2. Then again, we will estimate what is the exact value of current flowing in the circuit with the help of this potentiometer circuit. So this is how we will go about with the experiment. Coming to the overall view of the circuit, this is a potentiometer wire of 10 meters length AB. And this forms the primary circuit with a battery, rheostat and key connected to the potentiometer wire. Now this is a secondary circuit with two cells, a key, a rheostat, the ammeter to be calibrated and a resistance R. These two circuits are connected through the primary to the primary with the help of a six-way key. Here we are introducing a Daniel cell whose voltage is well known as 1.08 volt. Let us once again revise the pr basic principle of potentiometer. Let AB be the potentiometer wire or in fact it is in a resistance as far as this series circuit is concerned. So in such a case, the potential drop across any length of this wire will be proportional to the length of the wire. So, actually what we are doing is, if we are giving a unknown voltage here, this circuit, suppose it balances at a point J, then we can say that this unknown voltage is equal to the potential drop across this balancing length AG. Now the question is, how will we evaluate the potential drop across AG? For that, potential drop across a definite length of the potentiometer wire will be equal to potential drop per unit length of the wire into balancing length of the wire. That is, if we know how much is the drop across 1 centimeter, then we can evaluate the drop across the length AG. So now the question is, how will we evaluate the potential drop per unit length? For this, we will introduce a known voltage here. For example, let it be a Daniel cell of voltage 1.08 volt. So with this known voltage, we will find out the balancing point J by the null deflection method of the galvanometer. So a known voltage 1.08 volt falls across AG. In the first part of the experiment, we will be introducing a known voltage 1.08 here 
and we will find out the corresponding balancing length capital L. In the second stage, we will introduce an unknown voltage here, which I can always write it as I into R and find out the balancing length as small l. So taking the ratio of the two equations, we can exactly find out what is the current flowing through the circuit. So I will be equal to 1.08 small l by capital L. Using this equation, I equals 1.08 l by l, we can exactly calculate what is the value of current in a circuit. So if we give the notation I0 for the reading in an ammeter, so the error or accuracy of the reading I0 can be calculated as I minus I0. That is the error value. So with this value for various values of current I0, say 0.1, find out the error of 0.2 of I0, find out the error and so on. And then draw the calibration graph where I0 is the reading as shown in the ammeter and I minus I0 is the error in the value of I0 where I is the exact value of current that we have measured using the potentiometer. Coming to the overall circuit, this is a primary, the rheostat of this primary circuit should be adjusted to a suitable value so that a definite current flows through the potentiometer wire. You are not supposed to change the position of the rheostat till the end of the experiment. Then this is a secondary. This is a known voltage or Daniel cell voltage 1.08. So first what we will do is Introduce key at this position, these two positions in the six-way key so that this potential will be the known potential that is applied as we had discussed in the earlier circuit. That is, here 1.08 volt will be applied to the potentiometer. So, the balancing length Capital L for this Daniel cell will be evaluated by finding out the null deflection point of this galvanometer. So first part is over. This first part has to be done only once in the experiment. Then you take the key from here and introduce it at these positions 1-1. One, one. Then it is the unknown voltage across this R that is now being introduced to this potentiometer circuit. This voltage drop across this R can be written as I into R. And it is that exact current I that is going to be measured using this potentiometer. Coming to the observation part, we know that EMF of the Daniel cell is 1.08 volt. In fact, this should also be measured in the experiment rather than taking it for granted. Find out the balancing length for Daniel cell and note it as capital L. Also note down the standard resistance R in the secondary. You can take it as 1 ohm or 2 ohm whichever is available. Then what you have to do is adjust the current in the secondary of the circuit. Adjust the current in the secondary of the circuit to a value 0.1 ampere. Under that condition, Introduce a key over here and measure the balancing length as small l. 
as a repetition for next value, change the rheostat in the secondary and adjust the current in the ammeter to 0.2 ampere. Then again, find out what is the balancing length. Then next would be adjust the rheostat again and make the reading in the ammeter 0.3 ampere. Using this potentiometer, find out the balancing length. So you may repeat this experiment for 10 or 12 values of this ammeter and every time you will be finding out the balancing length as small l. So once this tabular column is completed, you can calculate the exact calculated value of current I using this equation. Then find out what is the correction in the ammeter reading I0. This is I0. This is I, the calculated exact value. This is a correction that appears for every reading. Then with I minus I0, that is a correction on the y-axis and the ammeter reading I0 on the x-axis, we can plot a calibration graph. This calibration graph can be plotted as straight line graph where the shape of the graph is immaterial because the error may be positive or negative for various values. So, the calibration graph is a straight line graph of any shape. So, finally, uh, we have achieved our aim of calibration of the given ammeter with the help of potentiometer. Thank you. Now, coming to the circuit. This is the primary circuit which consists of, consists of the battery in your set P at the potentiometer one. Now the secondary circuit, it consists of battery, the ammeter which is to be calibrated, then the standard resistance R, rheostat and the key. See to it that the keys are not introduced when you make the circuit, only when you start your experiment, you need to introduce the key. Now, this is a six-way key. I have taken two wires from the two ends of the resistance, standard resistance, and given it to this point. At this point, I have introduced the Daniel cell. As far as the Daniel cell is concerned, the positive terminal is the copper vessel, so that is the positive going to the left hand side of the six way key. This positive of the primary battery is connected at the center point, left hand side. As far as secondary circuit is concerned, the positive is coming to the left hand side. This is an important point that you have to take care of. So now, first I will close the primary circuit. Then I will close the secondary circuit. I will introduce this Daniel cell into the primary circuit. I have included this Daniel cell. And using this jockey, we will find out the balancing part. So first, you have to check if the circuit is correct. That is, in the first line, see the deflection, it goes left. The last line, it goes right. It goes right. So, this connection is correct. Now we'll check for the balancing length. Left. Left, 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 ah, it goes right. So the balancing length is between this point 
at this point. So we will find out the balancing length. So the balancing length is between this line and this line. Okay, so you have found out the balancing length. It is somewhere here. So I will count the wire. 100 centimeter, 200 centimeter, 300, 400, 500. 500 ends there. So it is 500 and the scale should start from here, there. So my reading would be roughly 567. The scale starting from that end. So my balancing length is 567. So the purpose of this Daniel cell is over. 1.08 volt of Daniel cell is giving me a balancing length of 567. Now the second part would be introduce the key into this gap so that the potential that is included into the primary is the voltage drop across this resistor which is equal to I into this R. So now I will try to focus here the ammeter reading. I will make the ammeter reading say now it is 0.2 Okay, 0.3. When the ammeter reading is 0.3, we will try to find out the balancing length. So again, you've tried to find out your balancing length. So it is somewhere here. It is almost balanced. Take the measurement. It is second line from that end. So 165. Balancing length is 165 centimeters. Now repeat the experiment by changing the current in the secondary to say, for example, I'm going to make it say 0.5. You can do it 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and so on. Now I've made it 0.5 in the meter, and again I will check for the balancing length. It is somewhere between this point and this point. So let us see where it balances. Yes, it has balanced here. So it is 300 and 300 and goes to 45. 345 is the balancing length. So you just repeat this experiment in this manner. That is changing the rheostat in the secondary changes the current. So set the current for 0.1 ampere, take the balancing length. Set the current for 0.2 ampere, take the balancing length and proceed like that so that you can fill it in this tabular collar. So a current of 0.1, find out the balancing length, calculate the current. For so current of 0.2, get the balancing length, calculate the current. Find out the correction and then draw the calibration graph as explained in the theory. So hope you have understood the experiment. So we have calibrate or calibrated or given our meter. So that is it. Thank you.